All right. So everybody's favorite topic here, you're wondering why I'm looking at this, box fill and listing. So we do a lot of EV1450 plugs. If you do the load, the, uh, rather the box fill calculations, you know you need a big box. I think with a NEMA 1450 and 6s, you need like a, I don't know, a 38 cubic inches or something. So we were using this box for a second. Right, and one of my inspectors said, hey, look at those tabs in the back. See these tabs right here? He says, hey, is that rated for a 6.3? And I said, well, I can force it in, so probably yes. He goes, well, what about the listing in the back? And so if you look real close at these numbers punched in the back, let's see here, let's see if you can get that. It's only rated for up to 18 number 10s. There is no... Uh, Mess mentioned of there about anything over number 10. So I thought, man, I thought I was doing good getting the cubic inches. And so he mentioned a box like this that's actually got a clamp that's made for 8363. And lo and behold, when you check the back of the box, it's rated for up to eight number sixes. So there you go. So you've got your box fill, which is one consideration out of Article 314. But then you have the whole issue of listing. Is the box or equipment you're using, is it actually listed and approved for what you're using it for? Because it isn't actually right to just jam something in a hole in a wall like I've done. Because if it fits, it ships. Anyways, that was a surprise to me. I was a good surprise and a super helpful inspector. But do you have any stories like that where you did something for a while and some, somebody said, hey, you know what, maybe that's... Uh, Maybe that's not right. So let me know in your comments, and I will talk to you on the next one.